Hi everyone, my name is Colin Sunis and I'm here with the, uh, with the Atlantic Ocean to tell you about a new book. It's called Atlantic Gigantic and it's released today. Written by myself, it's a story of how two friends and I, Sam Doyle and Matt Burdekin, how we sailed across the North Atlantic from Nuuk in the west of Greenland to Oban in the west of Scotland, which is very, very close to where I was born. Uh, I grew up in Argyll and Butte on the west coast and I grew up amongst this network of waterways and islands, that blending zone between Scotland and the North Atlantic, that huge geographical barrier between where I grew up and where many other people grew up in North America on the other side of the, uh, of the ocean. I really grew up saturated by this, by the immensity of that ocean. I'm a geographer, I'm a glaciologist, and I work on expeditionary vessels in the, the Arctic and the Antarctic in the polar regions. And one of the things that's always kept me inspired by life is landscapes, landscapes that we live in every day, how we relate to them, how we challenge ourselves in them, some landscapes you walk up, you climb, mountains, moors, some you sail on, and the ocean is probably one of the least hospitable, most, well, unsuited to us of all those landscapes. Um, I always wanted to know if I was tough enough to, uh, to be up to the challenge of that landscape. The whole voyage was, was a very powerful experience for me, testing myself against that North Atlantic landscape that I'd grown up on the edges of. But more than that, Homecoming, coming back to Scotland at the end of it, was, was incredibly powerful and meant, meant a great deal to me. Sailing into Oban, so close to where I grew up. I grew up in Loch Gilphead, it's maybe about 45 minutes drive from Oban. That landscape of mountains and fjords, essentially what they are, fjords, those sea lochs, uh, that glacially carved landscape. As a glaciologist, it inspires me, but as someone that grew up there, it means a huge amount to me. And uh, finishing that voyage, that probably the most powerful experience of my life, um, in Oban, yeah, I couldn't have hoped for anything better. It was absolutely incredible bringing the boat into into the arms of my of my homeland. Really, coming down the Sound of Mull, surrounded by those Caledonian McBrain ferries, which I remember from my from my youth, uh, the red funnels and the lion rampants. Yeah, it was it was incredible. Coming through the Western Isles, um, I used to work in the Outer Hebrides as a thatcher in the summers. So coming past Barra Head, past Tyree, places I've worked on in the past, seeing it in a completely different way. When we live on the land and we drive around it, we see the landscape from the inside. To see the Scottish landscape, the outline from the outside, islands, sea lochs, they were things to be firstly driven around the islands and then sea lochs driven through. It's an inverse of how we normally see things as, uh, as people that live on the land. So incredibly powerful experience and uh, one that I'll, I'll never ever forget. Um, yeah, sailing into the lands of my birth was uh, unforgettable. So as a Scotsman, it meant a huge amount, and I hope that to other Scots it'll share a, an interesting, interesting perspective, if nothing else, on the place that we live in and the landscape that, uh, that we grew up in. So I hope you enjoy it. The book's called Atlantic Gigantic, out today by myself, Colin Sunis. Thanks very much for listening.